Hello Internet and welcome back to Mocktail Monday. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a fancy AF Shirley Temple. Let's get into it. Before we go any further, I just want to remind you to like and subscribe, leave a comment. It's a really small thing that you can do to support me and help me grow the channel. And even if you don't want to support me, leave a comment anyways. I don't know, just comment below like, hey Dave, I don't like your face. Alright, thanks guys. Back to the video. Everybody knows the Shirley Temple, or at least what the Shirley Temple has become. It was like the first drink your mom let you order at Chili's that made you feel like a big boy. In its modern iteration, it is a two-part drink. One part lemon-lime soda, like Sprite or 7-Up, and one part grenadine. Grenadine is a really common cocktail syrup. It's found in a bright red, sticky bottle, usually out of date in your uncle's drink fridge. Most people think it tastes like cherries or maybe even just red flavor, but it's supposed to taste like pomegranates. There are a lot of brands of grenadine out there, the most famous of which is probably Roses, the one that comes in the bright red bottle, but it is really not that hard to make at home and it is infinitely tastier. Today I'm going to teach you how to make your own grenadine, but before we do that, we gotta remember, that's only one half of what a Shirley Temple is. The other half is that lemon lime soda, and we gotta figure out a way to gussy that up a little bit. So before we work on the grenadine, I'm gonna teach you how to make oleosancrum. Oleosancrum is syrup made from extracting the oils out of citrus peels with sugar. Most commonly you're gonna see oleosancrum made out of lemons or maybe oranges, but you can essentially use any sugar you want. Limes, grapefruit, satsumas, whatever. Making oleosacrum is easy. You need a couple of lemons, a couple of limes, a little bit of sugar, a citrus peeler, and a mason jar. You start by peeling your lemons and limes and throwing them in your mason jar. It's a good rule of thumb that for every full lemon peeled, you're adding between two and three ounces of sugar. I've seen other recipes that call for a fairly tightly packed cup of lemon peels, and that'll be a third of a cup of sugar. When you're peeling your citrus, you just want to get as little of that white pithy material underneath the citrus skin as you can. That's going to make the mixture a little more bitter. If you can keep it to mostly just the outside rind, you're going to get a lot of those citrus oils and none of the bitterness. I'm using five lemons and three limes, so when I add the sugar, I'll be between a cup and a cup and a half. Once you've added all your citrus peels and your sugar, just give that mixture a light muddle and then put it in the fridge for a couple of hours to do its thing. Now let's move on to the grenadine. To make it, you'll need pomegranate juice, pomegranate molasses, lemon juice, sugar, and a little bit of orange blossom water. For this grenadine, we're going to be making a rich simple syrup. That means we're going to be using two cups of grenadine juice and four cups of sugar, a two to one ratio. Take a saucepan and put it on medium heat. While it's heating up, add two cups of pomegranate juice, three ounces of pomegranate molasses, one ounce of lemon juice, and four cups of sugar. We'll add those ingredients first and then stir the mixture until the sugar is completely dissolved. When that happens, we're gonna add just a few drops of orange blossom water. We'll stir those in and let it cool. It's been 24 hours and thanks to the magic of editing, I'm wearing the same shirt. It's stinky. It's not that stinky, but it has been 24 hours. Last night, I let my homemade grenadine cool, and then I bottled it. Look at that beautiful deep red color. I'm really excited about that. But now the moment of truth. Let's take a look at that oleosacrum. All right, now that's what I'm talking about. Let me see if I can get a focus here. You can see that top layer right there with all of that citrus oil and sugar. Uh, that's what we're looking for. So at this point, I'm just gonna strain this out, put it in a bottle, and uh, yeah. Let's get to making a mocktail. Now, normally when you use juice and simple syrup, you're gonna wanna shake it, but for presentation purposes, I'm actually gonna build it in the glass and then use the straw to mix everything up when I'm drinking it. To make our fancy AF Shirley Temple, we're gonna need some lime juice, our citrus oleo, our homemade grenadine, some soda water, and of course, your favorite cocktail cherries, and a lime wheel for garnish. You're gonna start by filling your glass with ice and then add an ounce of our homemade grenadine. After that, you're gonna add just a half ounce of lime juice. Follow that up with a half ounce of your citrus oleo. Don't worry, you're almost done. Now all that's left is to top it in soda water. Now take your straw and stir that mixture up right before it hits the table. And finally add your cherry lime garnish. 
All right, y'all, moment of truth. This thing looks amazing. I love the color on it. Let's give it a shot, yeah? Damn, that's good. Yeah, so I don't think I'm ever going back to store-bought grenadine ever again. That is fantastic. Yes, it's got a lot of sugar to it, it's sweet, but the fresh juice in it and the oleo give it this like citrus pop that's really present. It's got some tartness to it. It's like super refreshing. Uh, I, I really like the fact that it starts dark on the bottom and as you go up, the soda water makes it, you know, lighter. I think presentation wise, it's really nice. I think as you drink it, it will become more and more soda watery, which might turn some people off, but for me, that's perfect for a summer day. It's just gonna get more and more refreshing, a little lighter on the palate as you go. And then, hey, when you finish it, just make yourself another one. Yeah, 10 out of 10, would drink again. Well, thanks again for watching. As always, I've been Dave. Uh, this has been Mocktail Monday, and uh, yeah, cheers. I'll see you next week.